how beautifully marbled and perfect this is. I'm telling you, if you're going to cut primals, the only way to get a nice smooth slice is when it's still frozen. By the time it's all thawed out and room temp, you're going to get squishy, like gooey and messy cuts because it's just going to be so hard to slice. Beautiful. <laughs> guys so it's day one of being in Seattle we are at steak and butter guys house um, and I just wanted to show you guys how I cut my primal ribeyes so they come in huge seven pound chunks I'm gonna show you like this and I'm currently cutting it up into single serve steaks so they will end up looking like this and I'll show you how I do it and how I store it okay so as you can see I've already cut one two three and then those two over there um, so I like to cut it when it's pretty much frozen but thawed um, just a tiny bit so there's some give when you cut it that's the trick is cutting it when it's still hard and I literally just cut through the packaging of the plastic. The great thing of cutting primals is that you can choose how thick you want the steaks. And it's really simple, you just need to use a little bit of energy. So I typically store one, two, three steaks in each Ziploc bag um, and I will freeze all of them and thaw them overnight one day at a time. I find that keeps the freshness and the taste the best. So freezing steaks, they will last up to like five to six months and when you thaw them, they can still last in the fridge for up to like I would say five days. So it's great that way you just take it out of the freezer one batch at a time. And um, here is their already pre-sliced steaks that they sell on their website from US Wellness. Um, and you see, these are the mini ones, the petite ribeye steaks, because they were out of stock of the normal sized. So I've just been eating petite steaks. Um, for the past like month, so I really cannot wait to eat normal sized, thick, thick cuts. I really cut them super thick today. If you can see, look at how beautifully marbled and perfect this is. I'm telling you, if you're gonna cut primals, the only way to get a nice smooth slice is when it's still frozen. By the time it's all thawed out and room temp, you're gonna get squishy, like gooey and messy cuts because it's just gonna be so hard to slice. Beautiful. And I'm doing like three steaks at a time and I always lay it flat uh, whenever I store it and thaw it so that the juices can stay intact. Okay, so here is the aftermath of the primal. Such beautiful, thick, thick, and I'm talking about thick cut steaks. Okay, like seriously, compared to this tiny little thing, can't compare, guys. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what's in my freezer. Um, as you can see, it is beautifully stocked. I have some pig's feet right here. 
I have some chicken feet right here. Beautiful chicken feet. And these two are great for making broths, soups. It'll make it super gelatinous. I think that's the right word. Um, and I also have an amazing recipe for beautiful skin. Since it's so full of collagen, I will be sharing that soon. Um, and then here we have the star of the show. Um, as you can see, we've got a couple beef whole primal ribeyes. One, two, three, four, five. Five primals plus the one that I just cut, six. And um, I've got, of course, my beautiful trusty suet right here, beef suet. And this is a whole, um, I think, 2.5 pound bag. I think it might be five pounds, I'm not sure. And in here I have a whole oxtail, great for soup. Um, and this is, I believe, from Frankie's Free Range Meats. grass-fed brisket so I have two of these and I'm not sure what I want to do with these yet but yeah that's everything I have just ribeyes um, brisket suet and I've got some animal feet beautiful and in the fridge um, so a lot of these foods are steak and butter guys um, but here because I am now in an unfamiliar state, um, I stocked up on some Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. In fact, this is Steak and Butter Guy's mom's. Um, she got it for me because she knows that I am a butter girl. She said that and I laughed really hard. But she got me Kerrygold Unsalted Irish Butter, which is so, so good. Guys, if you can't get your hands on um, raw butter, then that's the best bet. And then we have some smoked sockeye salmon, wild. So we've got some turkey. Um, and here, don't mind the macarons, we've got some beautiful eggs. Oh, and this is really cool. How cute is that? It's like a cute little brie collection. So that's basically all I need to be happy, feeling great, satisfied, satiated, are my ribeyes, suet, whatever um, butter I can get my hands on, um, and any fish is just extra but always appreciated. Um, so that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful. Leave any questions you have for me down below in the comment section. I hope you like, subscribe, comment all that jazz. I'll see you guys next time. Steak and Butter Gal out. We are trying Whole Foods instead to see if they have any fishies. They're so what? They're so what? red. They're really red? Yeah. All right, so I'm like... Where are you, where are you going? This way. Oh. My eyes are really red. Yes, they're so red. Do I look obviously they're like pink. High? They're like pink in the inside. No, no, the edges. Yeah? Yeah. You don't look high, just look chill. I'm surprised they have meats. It's crazy. Check it out. Check it out. Whoa, that looks bomb. Like, look at that piece right there. It's yeah, perfect. but that's not wild, is it? We're just asking them. Oh, we're just looking. Is this, is this wild? Okay, um, do you have any wild? I'll be wild and we previously from the and previously from the Can you win that? Are any of these like sashimi grade? No, uh, we've got a freezer at the end there that has sashimi grade, or you can visit the sushi department. Oh, okay. Right, Thank okay. You. okay. Thank you. Have anything? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Wait, 
why don't they have anything? The drive back is so beautiful. I wish you guys could see, like, in real life. It's just so dreamy. Okay, fine. 